So, uh, first and foremost, uh, I'll begin by just congratulating the Law Society of Kenya. Thank you so much for coming to stand in solidarity with uh, the all who came to stand with, uh, for their rights. And I think uh, demonstration is one of the rights on uh, the freedom of expression, is one of the things that is ensured in the Constitution of Kenya. And I think uh, it is a, a high time that uh, also the police uh, should understand that if these people were not uh, maybe uh, with any intention to harm anyone, it was their right to demonstrate whatever they are thinking. And uh, from where we sit as a members of parliament, we are going to ask other, as uh, the, the, the Kenya Panda MP. I know they have been willing to accept with the few changes on uh, eco, uh, ecology and uh, the, the bread just to show the, to black people. But the thing, what, what the Kenyans want, they don't want that thing called the finance bill. We already know that we have the Finance Act right now that is really stressing Kenyans. And by bringing in another finance bill to come and generate another 300 billion, I think this is uh, injustice to Kenyans. And when you look at the budget, the way it has been split, it is not even, uh, and when the president says that people should live within the means. So I think it is high time that as members of parliament, we have to re uh, reject that finance bill in totality mm -hmm. and yes. start yes. even revising that the Finance Act of 2023 2024 that is right now stressing. Even when they say that uh, they want to remove the eco levy on local, uh, locally uh, made uh, uh, whatever uh, items, you find like even it's going to make a very expensive for our young ladies who using the human hair or whatever to make them, and even the iPads.